Hey guys, it's Mr. Blaze with another cool website to check out. This video is actually an updated video uh, for using the website Pixlr. They've updated the interface and I wanted to create an updated um, how to make a photo text cutout with the new interface. So here we go. I'm gonna go to Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R. And you have a couple options when you go there. Click the first link. We're gonna use the advanced Pixlr E, and this one is more of the editor. This one here is just for kind of like Instagram fun filters quick. So advanced Pixlr E. From here, I've already added a photo, but if you can grab the website that the photo's from, you can grab the website address here, or you can just click open image and go to the location on your desktop select a, I have a beach image here. I'm gonna select full HD. Now, all we have to do is notice a few things. Over on the right hand side, you're gonna have the layer window. Here's all your controls on the left from, mark, from selecting, the wand select is the one we're going to use today. And then you have other uh, image adjustment and filter options up top. So let's go over to the layer window here. And you see the lock? We're gonna unlock this. This is as a background. That way we can edit it. You can just double click it. And now you see the lock icon is gone. The next thing you're going to do is you're gonna select um, the text tool on the left hand side. And you're just gonna click, yet yeah, select add. Now the default settings comes up to Arial. You want to choose a nice uh, thick font. You might want to bold it if you need to. So I found a cool font. Um, it's called Bjorn Herd. And I'm just gonna type uh, summer in. This, this is a nice summer image. I'm thinking summer myself. And now I'm going to select the size so you can come up here and use the uh, slider to change the size of the font. You want this nice and big. Select enter. Now figure out what part of the background image do you want to show up in the letter. I'd like to get a little bit of the beach and a little bit of the sky. So I have mine right there. Make sure uh, you have it set because this will determine how the, uh, the photo looks inside the text. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to select the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool is the third or fourth tool down, wand select. Now, before you click on anything, you want to make sure you deselect contiguous. What this will allow you to do is to select all of the letters because watch what happens if I don't uncheck that. I can only select that one letter, so all the changes will only happen to that letter. So make sure you select, deselect contiguous. And now we can select and we'll get all of the letters. With all of the letters in the word selected, what you're going to do now is you're gonna take and you notice the, the text is on top of the background. So what you're going to do is going to drag, left click and drag the background to behind so it's below or in front of the text again. And then you can see an outline or a halo sort of effect of the letters. They're still selected. Now you're going to right click and you're going to select merge visible. It's the one in the middle here. You have to mouse over to see what it says. Select Merge Visible, and now you notice we only have one layer. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to select Edit, Copy, now we've selected the merged layers, and now we're gonna open a new image, File, New Image, Full HD. For background, I recommend choosing a white, but you can change any other color you want. Select Create. And then you're going to come over to the edit button and select paste. 
And now we've created a photo text. Super simple, fun to do. You can change the background. You can also play around with the layer properties here by right clicking um, and playing around with different properties of layer if you'd like to. Next, what you're gonna to do to wrap the project up is to do a quick save. To do that, you're gonna make sure to file, save, give your project a title. My students, I have them call it photo text cutout or you can call it summer photo text. Just something that describes it. Make sure file type is set to JPEG. Quality is set to 100, high also, and nothing else needs to be adjusted. Select download, and then you're all set. So have fun. I'd love to see what you create and let me know um, if you have any other requests. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.